Let's be tell about food. Yeah, health and nutrition. <laughs> I know it looks that way, but this is a mathematics film. It's about subtraction. Subtraction? Yes. We're going to use all this food to bite into the subject of subtraction. You know, of course, that addition is about putting things together. For instance, two put together with three makes five. Now, let's look at how subtraction works. Could the hot dogs come in? Hey, hold it, will you? No, I didn't mean hold the mustard. I meant hold that silly barking. Okay, how many hot dogs do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five hot dogs. And let's say that we take away two. One, two. Then how many are left? One, two, three. There are three left. Right. So we can say that if you start with five and take away two, that leaves three. There are three hot dogs left. Five take away two leaves three. Anyone want these hot dogs? No. Okay. We're through with you, hot dogs. Now, how many eggs do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six eggs. Yeah, six eggs. Okay. Now, let's take away two again. One, two. And how many are left? One, two, three, four. There are four left. So, we can say that six take away two leaves four. Let's state this as a mathematical sentence. Take away is written with a little line like this. It's called a minus sign. It simply means take away. Now, can you read what it says there? Six take away two equals four. Right, or six minus two equals four. Okay, we're through with you other four eggs. You can slide off now. Could you red apples please get yourselves into a group on one side? Not on your sides, on one side of the screen. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, kids, how many apples do we have here? One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. We have seven apples. Okay. Take away one apple. I just said take it away, not take it away and eat it. Okay, we have seven apples and we take away one. How many apples are left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six apples left. So how would we say that? Seven take away one leaves six. Or? I know. Seven minus one equals six. Aptly put. <laughs> <laughs> Aptly put. And of course, you know this is how we write it as a mathematical sentence. Okay. Since that apple was so good, let's take away another apple. So now we've taken two away. That leaves how many? One, two, three, four... Five. Then seven take away two is five. Or seven minus two equals five. That's terrific. You're doing subtraction. Now let's see if you can continue on with the apples. Well, we could take away another apple. Okay, you work it out. Well, we have seven apples and we take away three apples. So seven minus three is one two, three, four. Four apples left. And how do we write that? Seven minus three equals four. That's right. And of course you can see that there are other numbers of apples you can take away from seven. Let's go back to where we had seven apples all together. Look at that apple. <laughs> it's being uneaten. Okay, we know we have seven apples here. Let's not take any away. What would you say about that? Hmm, well, nothing would happen. But how would you write it? Seven take away zero... Equals seven. Right. Now let's take away all seven. Hey, they're all being eaten. So we started with seven, we took away all seven. We're left with... <laughs> Nine. Nine. Zero. And how would you write it? Seven minus seven equals zero. Very good. It sure looks like we're through with those apples. You can say that again. It sure looks like... No, <laughs> I just meant you're right. You apple cores can go now. <laughs> now.
Now, let's do some more subtraction. But this time, let's find out how many were taken away instead of how many are left. How many cupcakes do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cupcakes all together. And let's say that someone comes in and eats some of the cupcakes. How many cupcakes do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. We have five cupcakes left. How many were eaten or how many were taken away? How are we going to find the answer? I know, just count the empty wrappers. Then we'll know how many were eaten. One, two, three, four. There are four empty wrappers. Four cupcakes were eaten. So, nine minus four equals... Five. That's right. Nine cupcakes minus the four that were eaten means five are left. Uh, could you please clean up that mess? Thank you. Again, let's do another problem. Now, how many ice cream bars do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, we have ten ice cream bars. We better hurry or they'll melt. No, <laughs> these can't melt. Okay, just like with the cupcakes, let's say that someone comes in and eats some of the ice cream bars. Wow, we look at that. Boy, they eat fast. Now, how many ice cream bars do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We still have seven ice cream bars. And we want to find out how many were eaten. So, how do we do it? I know. We'll count the sticks left over. There are one, two, three. Three sticks left over. So, ten minus three equals seven. Well, there you have it. That's subtraction. It's about taking things away and finding out how many are left.